Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the very first video on the Swift. If you do a little bit of Wikipedia search trying to understand what is Swift programming language, you will understand that it is just like any other general purpose programming language that you would have used be it say C, Java, Python, JavaScript. The definition of Swift is basically given as it is a general purpose programming language and it is multi paradigm when i say multi paradigm it not only supports only object oriented or functional you can use it for different programming paradigms like protocol oriented programming imperative programming block programming i am not going to get into details of what those individual things are but it supports multiple programming paradigms for that matter and of course it supports functional and object oriented programming as some of you might be aware uh, there could be basically broadly speaking three types of programming language one is compiled programming language whose source code when compiled finally converts it into a machine level code and these are the fastest programming languages and then you have uh, another extreme end wherein you interpret the source codes and then there is another third category which is like uh, java or say c sharp where the existing code base or the source code gets converted into a intermediate code or a byte code and that byte code or intermediate code gets interpreted so these are kind of both compiled and interpreted programming languages and swift falls into the very first category which is compiled language language c c++ are compiled programming languages and since they are compiled the source code gets converted into the machine code they work pretty fast compared to all other programming languages that we just talked about now the next obvious question is why and where is this particular swift used for swift was basically introduced in wwdc 2014 by apple and uh, at that time it was a closed proprietary programming language but uh, it became full fledged open source programming language so that is why you nowadays see swift being used not just in case of say mac platforms it is being used for a lot of different purposes and of course you can do the development using swift for say ios which is iphone development and ipad development and then some of the other mac platforms like mac os tv os iwatch and linux operating system before swift came along Objective C was predominantly the programming language on Mac platforms and Apple introduced Swift as a kind of trying to replace Objective C the main idea is going forward Swift is the main programming language that is going to be there for any kind of programming that you would be doing for Mac platforms so the next question that probably you would be asking is is it right time to learn Swift it has been 3 years and since 3 years it occupies at least one or the other position in top 10 programming languages the problem with the swift when it was introduced or for that matter at least for some time was it was not backward compatible what i mean by that is when the very first version of swift was introduced that was 1.1 or 1.2 i believe it broke when the next version of the swift came that is swift 2 and then swift 2 broke when swift 3 came but from swift 3 onwards apple engineers have made sure that it is backward compatible what this means is the code that has been written in 3 will not break in 4 the code that is written in 4 will not break in whatever the future versions of the swift will be so if you want to learn swift uh, this is the most appropriate time i had mentioned earlier i will be starting with the swift programming language tutorials now the first question is which particular version i am going to talk about i am going to talk about 3.0 and onwards uh, mainly it is 3.0 because i want to make sure that i want to start from the version from where it was made backward compatible probably in the next question is is it for me and if you are wondering what is the proficiency level uh, that is expected to go through this particular tutorial i am doing it from pretty much scratch but that doesn't mean that i don't expect you to know or have done some kind of a programming i would expect you to know what is a variable what is a constant what are if else constructs is a switch case what is a function call very basic stuff uh, not more than that and if you are completely new to programming and you don't know all these things then probably this is not the place to get started some of you are wondering i have done kind of a swift programming some time back and uh, i have kind of lost track of it then this tutorial would still be relevant for you and if you are completely new 
happy to swift but have done some kind of a programming then probably you are in the most appropriate place to get started with the swift so this was just a kind of basic introduction about swift and in the next video probably we will talk more about swift and get started with some kind of swift coding so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye